Hello, my friends! We are back in more y Yakuza Zero. We're now going to go dig up some info on Tachibana's real estate. To see if they are a worthy successor. Well, successor. They are worthy of us to join them in their cause. So, let's see, we can need to go somewhere. You still haven't found the president of Tachibana Real Estate? Our boss ain't a patient man. We've been we're keeping him waiting a long time. Hmm? Who are these guys? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir. With the guys in shadow, they leave a trace. The informants in this town can tell you anything except what has to do with, with Tachibana Real Estate. Wait, none of them? Then what? Tachibana's brought them all? Huh? I'm saying he's paid them all enough to, to, to keep quiet. We feel that kind of guy say he is. It's possible. Shit. Where is any other way out spend him? With more money. Um, with what money, sir? We really don't have any. Uh -huh. Then get the hell out there and find me some information. Forget the informants. Go get one of the businesses he's bought or, or something. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Hmm. Interesting. Let's continue on with our search. We shall go this way. You're lying! Mm hmm? You heard something from me, aren't you? Uh, calm down, Tachan. I, I'm not hiding anything. Something's going down. I'm sorry, but Mina-chan, I saw inside your purse. It was full of money. Money? Nani? I want some of that. That, that's... There had to be like 200,000 yen in there. Mina-chan, your family isn't that rich. What's going on? How do you put around in my purse? Tachan, you're a jerk. I hate you. Mina-chan. <sighs> For a special high school couple, that was pretty raw. That's not rad. <laughs> Sir, let me talk to you about your problem. Really? Hey. hey. What? Who are you? Yeah. Nobody special. I overheard your spat. Didn't like what I was hearing. Uh, yeah. We're really going at it there, huh? I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. That girl, Mina, she's my girlfriend. Oh, is she? She acted very strange lately. Mm. Strange how? All of a sudden, she started turning me down a lot. We almost never go out on dates now. Well, you guys are young. There must be a lot on our mind. Like other guys? Sure, that was all I, c I can understand. But she's also really been throwing a lot of money around lately. And on the rare occasion that we do go out on a date, she always wants to go buy lingerie by the bag full. Hey, hey! Hmm. I got suspicious and went through her purse. I found at least 20, 100,000 yen notes in it. Hmm. 200,000. So, like, Yomina is from a very wealthy family. Well, if she is, that sounds fishy. <sighs> I worry that Mina Chan is selling herself. Selling herself? Whoa, whoa. Isn't she still in high school? Yeah, but wouldn't I explain why she's always loaded and buying new lingerie? Yes. Mmm, mm, that's hard to say. I know! Would you mind checking up on Mina for me? Just to find out what she's up to. Nani? Nani? Why me? Well, I had to go see Mina herself, it would scar me for life. I can understand that, but... Please! I'll give you some kind of reward. Like money. Please find out what Mina Chan's doing. Alright, fine. I'll check on her. You will? Uh. Yeah. 
I kind of want to know why a girl would be carrying around that kind of cash myself. Oh, man. I hope she's not selling her stuff to some sleazy geezers. Me and Anton hangs out around Serial Avenue a lot. Please, please find out what, what she's up to. Serial Avenue. Got it. Hmm. Nice. So, that, ladies and gents, is our first side quest that, that we have picked up. And I can't go do it. We'll do it along the way. Like a... Oh. Here come the men in black. And now, they shall get beaten up to a pulp. Oh, that guy's good. I ain't bummed the Cafe Blaine closed all of a sudden. Them being open all night was a huge deal. You heard anything about it? I think the guy running the place just skipped town. Mm. Pimp? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they just moved shopped. They're across from Mock Ball behind Theater Square. There's a new sign up. Uh -huh. Oh, really? But wait, well, what about the moving? It was only a few, a few blocks away. Whoa. They got chased off by those guys. Touchy Brown Real Estate. Here they didn't leave the guy much choice. Same with all the other tenants in that building. The lot either moved shop, or they it for good. Mm. Whoa, seriously? Well, that's a relief, I guess. <laughs> I have to hit them up behind Theater Square next time. Hmm, so Theater Square it is. But, I am curious. Ah, there's more Men in Black. Didn't I just beat you guys up? He must be a glutton for punishment. Dropkick wins the day! Oh no! The cops! Mm -hmm. Nanny. Can I ask you a few questions? Tch. A stop and search, huh? What's your name? And what do you do for a living? Fine. The name's Kiryu. I'm in a hurry here. Oh, been trouble running this part lately. So to be sure, would you mind if I checked your belongings? What are my things got to do with any trouble around here? Relax. Just a precaution. Can you show me what you're carrying? <laughs> this is take forever. I'm gonna show them what I have and get this, this over with. Okay, you win. I'll show you then. What should I hand over? Uh... No! Not the super spicy knife! <laughs> Not that! How about this? Hmm. It's about as safe as it gets. It doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Other than the super spicy uh. knife. I got nothing to hide. I see. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Give me a break. Cops like you are always abusing your power. You never stop thinking about how much of an inconvenience this is for regular citizens. Yeah. Well, that may be so for other police officers. Not for me, though. I'm only doing this because it's all I'm good for. Mm. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, never mind about me. I'm the one asking the questions here. Doesn't make sense. I was sure you had something big on you. Like a super spicy knife! I kinda know for those things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess your nose fed you this time. I'm not so sure. My sister says to me to apply something on you if I dig down deep enough. I don't know what to say. Now that I'm touched. I'm a pro at stopping searches. Until I'm sure you're not a threat, I'm going to keep questioning you. Okay? Not okay. 
Oh, come on, kitty, use that. Be a good sport. It won't take long. I just want to be sure. You just searched me. I give up. Fine, have it your way. Just keep it short. Alright, thank you. My name is Officer Kikuchi. Yes. I'll see you around then. Oh, the friendship meter. Yes, so we can become friends. You get to know Officer, stop and search that guy. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. Inject the status of the gauge. Any. Yes. Build your relationship with him and see what happens. Good. Maybe he can help me out in times. Now, we could go to the theater square, but part of me wants to try to find that girl who is probably selling herself. Ah. That exclamation mark means that she's got to be around here somewhere. Central Avenue. Yes. Female. Schoolgirl. Oh, there she is. Let's go deal with her. Hmm? Nani? Is that? Isn't that Mina? Her boyfriend wants to know she's making so much cash. Well, let's go see then, shall we? Oi. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Nani? Nani? <laughs> a customer? Mm. Don't tell me this girl is really selling herself. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess not. Did you want something? No. I should just jump, jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep this conversation going see if I can figure out what she's doing. This is all new to me. Sorry. This is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Can you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first time customer? That's why you were, uh, so tentative. Um, sorry. First time can be awkward and embarrassing. <laughs> there. I think I managed to get the ball rolling. This girl's a little less wary, too. So, uh, what would you like? Nani? What do you mean? Um, well, top or bottom? Which do you want? Nani? Nani? <laughs> Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's go talking about position. <laughs> I love this game. It's not like she's giving customers after of being on top or bottom. I have to keep this straight up to figure out if she's really selling her body. Um, top or bottom? Which do you prefer? Um, <laughs> middle. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the top. Top. My bra, then. Please hold on. Nani, your bra. Pardon? Said you wanted the top, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did. But why your underwear? I don't get it. I'm sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm a Brazura girl. Brazura? That's not a word I know. It's short for Burma and Serfuku, you know, bloomers and sailor suits. Bazura girls sell gym clothes, school uniforms, and lots of other stuff they've worn before. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that? And why? Huh? Why? I guess men use them to do pervy things. What else would it be? I don't really get to think about it. Okay, I get it. You were doing business with men who get excited over your second-hand skivvies. Who <laughs> says skivvies? D don't judge. You're the one here trying to buy it. Yeah. No, actually. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away. I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. Nani. What? Hey! Huh. Great. She's totally shut down now. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with being a pervert? <laughs> oh, you know what? No, even though that'd be, that'd be the good answer to go with, I'm not going to do it. 
I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Would you admit to other people that you sell your underwear? Could it be... Can you be... Can you be proud of that? <gasps> can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? I... Touch on, right? Your boyfriend's worried about you. Huh? How do you know about Tachan? Actually, he, he, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I will never sell myself. Right. You're not selling your body. What, you, what you're doing is... What was that word again? Brucera? But whatever you're marketing on your, your underwear or your body. I think they're still both about selling your sex. Or can you probably tell your boyfriend you do Brazura? I... I don't... Hmm? I don't want to do this either. Aw, oh, made her cry. Aw. Oh, sorry. Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Yes. No, it's alright. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Brazura thing. Was it for the money? Some of us are in it for that, but not me. Then what are you doing it for? I mean, it's nice, it's nice having money. But it doesn't make me happy to, to buy things with money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. You have to keep buying more and more of them. I'm just so afraid of... Sachiko. These... Mm, weird names. Mm. That person? <laughs> she runs things for all the Berserker girls in the area. Sachiko figures out where we stand we should be by standing on the streets. Trust to take care of things if there's any trouble with a customer. In return, we'll just submit a part of our earnings to her once a month. So there's a girl overseeing the operation. Could you tell Sachiko you want to quit? Mm. That's impossible. As long as she's around, I can't quit or do this Berserker thing. <sighs> the high school girls around here are all Sachiko's friends. Trust out to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar to my situation. I... I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. Mm. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I can find this girl? I do, but... Why would you want to know? Because I want her underwear. No, not really. I don't want to go back to... I don't want to go back to your boyfriend and tell him that you're peddling your panties. So I thought maybe I could persuade her to quit running the sketchy Brazura ring. Eh? What? Really? You would do that? It'd be wonderful if it worked, but I'm not sure who she could be persuaded so easily. I have my fists! It's worth a try. Where can I find her? I think she's doing her Brazura shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing... Sakurazi Academy's uniform. A long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know the, the uniform, though. Oh, I guess not. The uniform has a white collar and a blue scarf. She sometimes wears a cardigan. I'm not sure she's wearing it today. A long-haired girl in a screen uniform wearing a white collar and a blue scarf. Is she wearing a cardigan? Yes. I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this Bazura thing. Please help me. I shall help you, young lady. We shall go to the hotel district now, and we shall put an end to this. Because I am a good person. But first, I got beat up some men in black. You know, the third movie really wasn't that good, so maybe you guys should just, uh, you know, stay back. Dude, the third time is not a charm, boys. See? <laughs> just say it! I'm a totally such right by this whole women is selling underwear thing. Take that for what you will. Oh no.
Yay. Okay. Maybe go up this way. I may can avoid some of them. Here's hoping. Oh no. I went straight up to him. There, now will you please get out of my way? I have a girl to stop selling her panties and stuff to. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Uh. Uh. Wait a minute. Uh. There's a high school girl. Could this be Sachiko, the head of the Berserker Ring? Yes, is something the matter? Uh, shut down your ring, you oh. bitch! Hey, Sachiko, shut down your Berserker Ring. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're Sachiko, that person, the Berserker Ringleader. Yes, I am her. Is there a problem with that? Uh, yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work in your bazaar ring, and it's making some, some, some of them miserable. Miserable? They make a lot of money selling loose clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Nani? Nani? The customers want what, what we offer, and we're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we do? Uh, it's a health hazard. <laughs> Think of your parents. No, girls shouldn't do this. Girls shouldn't be doing this. You need to act like ladies with some sense of decorum and... Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's what you're saying? It's fine for men to sell their underpants, but not women. Oh no, here we go. Uh, that's pretty blatant gender discrimination. It's the 80s, man. Tell us how thinking about old school. Uh, I messed that up. Think of your parents! What if your parents were to find out about your bazooka ring? Think of the pain they would feel. This is wrong. Uh, Give me some cool to bring up my parents! Nani? My parents are long gone. I have no one who would be hurt if they knew what I do. So my bazooka business is a, a problem for anyone. Can I read today? Not really. I didn't know that, but. Stop it! <laughs> Psych! Are you serious with that gullible? My parents are fine. Nani. What? You can't even see through a lie that far fetched? Good job getting schooled by a school kid, big Mr. Adult Man. <sighs> what you're doing is selling your sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire, they're going to get burned. Mm. Oh, well, well. I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. Nani? Nani? Are you finished? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like you to leave. <sighs> She's not budging. Cause let me know. Oh yeah, I failed it. Yay. Oh, hello, may I help you? Mm hmm? Sachiko chan! Oh, Sachiko chan, your penis was so sweet! I feel bad for reading this. I, I'm glad I, I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? I love you! Oh, no! Sachiko chan, I love you! Sachiko chan, love, 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 love. Sachiko chan, love. Oh, you're a bit too close there, sir! Uh, um, you're freaking me out here. Like I said, you're going to get burned. Sachiko-chan, I love you, Sachiko-chan. Let's spend our life together. Sachiko-chan, I love you. Oh, I, I can't do that. Huh? Oh, no. 
I made up my mind, Shachiko-chan. I already decided. I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties. Okay. Forever. <laughs> You're really scaring me. I love you. He's a yandere. We're together for we'll be together forever, Shachiko-chan. No, someone please. I I can't. I just saved your ass. Ugh. It's all right. You're safe now. <laughs> huh? Who the you? Do I know you? Don't get in my way. Such go chan is mine. Oh, do you really know who you're messing with? Oh shit, he dodged pretty good <laughs> for a crazy man. But at the end of the day, I win. Have an easy face. I know you enjoy it. It's not panties, but it'll work. Yay! And run, bastard. Are you all right? I I'm okay. I told you right. You played with fire, and you got burned. You're lucky I was there to save your ass. Why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you. I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. That's... I don't... Sajiko-chan! Oh, son! Uh. Weird. Mina! I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting your Berserk group. I'm really sorry. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. I don't... I don't bully her for quitting your group. Or I'll beat the crap out of you. Sorry, what? I hate to admit it, but you're totally right. The Berserk is too risky, too risky a game for us high schoolers to be playing. I never thought about a little girl like Mina being in danger for something I've put together. I'm going to disband the Berserk biz right now. Oh, you are? Really? Mm. Yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yes! Tacha, I don't have to sell my panties anymore! Yes! <laughs> so good. Awesome, Mina-chan. Thanks for being honest with me. That's such a good boyfriend and girlfriend combination. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. Wise decision. You made their day too. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be frightened again. There's no need to thank me. <laughs> Got it. Besides, <laughs> I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, was she hitting on us? Oh well, time to go. So now, <laughs> I don't know if we've finished up that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, we need to go to the hotel district, which is around here. Somewhere. Yeah, we're actually right here at it. And, uh... Find out what's up with Tachibana Real Estate. So good thing we were already going in the right direction. Oh no. That was fun. <laughs> oh, was it Theater Square? See, I'm not totally like lost now. Thanks, game.
I knew you guys were gonna fight me anyway, so let's just go ahead and just do it, okay? Oh, you blocked my drop kick, you bastard! Have an uppercut for your troubles there, good sir. Yikes! Oi. Hey, you all right? Uh. Figure that bump on this. I'm swaggering, punk. Oi, oi! You're a old man. Thanks. This isn't going to end well. Are you all right? Uh, no. What's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry. Uh, watch your step, chipper brains. You're not hurt or anything, are you? Asshole! Wait, what? Alright, that's how you want this to play out. Nani? Nani? I'm so sorry! No, I mean, I'm gonna rush, see? So, please get lost, you punk ass! And so so! What? What just happened? Damn danky! Ha <laughs> ha! So good. Oh my goodness. I would do. Uh, I'm trying to find out stuff for Touch by Real Estate. Please help me. What are you looking at? You want some of this too? Bullying the innocent is lower than low. Lay off. <laughs> you think that scares me? I'll teach you to mind your own damn business. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. Thank you so much. Please take this. Oh, there's Mr. Shakedown. Look at him. He's asleep. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi, I'm so freaking stoked, man! A rare street show by this Yachimachi Silvers. Ah. Too right. Those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this bitching crowd. They drew all these punks by any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo and the Yachimachi Silvers are fucking rule. And keep your pants on. Are you the, uh, the Yachimachi Silvers? I'm going to have a QA panel, too. Eh? No effing way. Famous never saying a word other than the music to do the talking. I don't know what the hell they're going to talk about. Sounds like some bands doing an event here. Most of those must be popular with some of the local punks. Hmm? Oh, it's you! Is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at those people. Holy cow, what are we going to do? Oi. Hey, you. Yikes! Eh? Gee whiz, pal. I only peed my... What are you doing chair from behind me, you ugly knob? The fuck? Uh, yeah. Sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi! Who? Oh, you're that man! No, I should be apologizing for my own careless... I mean, whatever. Piss off! Uh. Um... Sure. <laughs> oh? 
Wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Yeah. Um, are you asking if we went before? <laughs> if you asking if we went before? Uh, if we did, I don't recognize you. Yeah. Oh, wait a second then. So you really don't know who I am? Willy Wickers. Oh my goodness. What a relief! Hmm? I'm sorry. I was rude to not introduce myself. Name's Kyo. But my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm a vocalist in the band. Let me guess. The Yomachi Silvers. The same band those young punks are excited to see. Are you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us! We're doing a street show here later. Oh? Sorry to bug you for your show. Good luck. Whoa! What the hell do you think you're going, man? Uh, please sir, don't go! Hmm? Hmm? Maybe... Maybe you could save me. Save you? Nani? Nani? You aren't even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. Man, we're having to keep this straight up full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks. And the Yachimachi Silvers became a hero to their brothers who to the British youth of Japan. Damn, I can't read that word. The whole style is called Yankee now. Mm. Huh. So there's more to running a band than I thought. So? What did you mean by me saving you? I... Uh... Actually... I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan! Nani? Nani? To be a Yankee? Yes. You see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel. A meeting and greet for fans. With every member of the Yashimachi Silvers, myself included, are law-abiding choir boys who never even shoplifted. If we were to talk in front of a real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Fake punks, eh? Not to mention it. The way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right. So if we spoke to our fans, we lose all credibility and popularity in, in an instant. Or worse. What if they were revenge on us for even fooling them? Okay. We do have to do this panel thing. Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either. For agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation we might have to talk instead of just performing. But now... Got it. So you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one? But why me? Why? Well that would be because... You're my idea of what a hooligan should be. Well thanks! The confident demeanor! You bring a sharp glare. The barbware attitude that says, Touch me and get cut. And yet, you also screw a sense of kindness. A guy who says who a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I guess I am Yakuza. Kind of. You can teach us what we don't so we, so we don't blow our cover. More than that, and then give us Yankee wisdom that will propel the Archibaldi Silvers to new heights of hooliganism. Hooliganism. What a word. Please, if we lose this chance, the Archibaldi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Okay then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. I'm going to suck at this. <laughs> really? Thank you so very much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Give me just a second, please. I'll go, go, go get the others. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hi. Hey there, I'm Tarashi. But say his name is Sleazy. But I have no experience with ladies. Never even seen a boob. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our basis, Bad Boy Aku. I'm Aku, hobbies caring for elders. And this is Kitty Usai, who's going to impart the ways of true Yankee style hooliganism unto us. Please teach us, Kitty Usai. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no! Please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But they agreed to do this, so somehow, we've turned you into a guy we turned you guys into hard edged punks. 
Oh, yes, please. Hmm. How can I show you guys to be tougher, though? Hmm. Well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for a little old me? Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san. I need a zinger of an opening line to set the, to set the tone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> um, I don't know. What should I say? Hello, but in English. Yeah, we'll do that. How about opening with hello, but in English? English? Do you really think so? I mean, a hooligan speak in English? Is that in Yankee style? Yeah. I think we're just right for a Yankee. Young rebels fall hard for what's cool. English is the language of the ro of rock and roll. Think about it. Their hero, the vocalist of the Yakawachi sisters, speaks a language they don't even know. They can't help but be impressed by his worldliness. But don't they speak English at afterwards? That, cause that, that's going to be a challenge. I don't know a few greetings. Uh. The same goes for them. If you sound like you know what you're saying, you can get away with it. I see. No, I'm not quite convinced, but I'll give it my best. Rock and roll! Oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm already set, I've already set them up for failure. Oh, can you sound question? Hmm? Hmm? What is it? Well, you just told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off. I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense that fans don't want to know about their hero who live from day to day. Takashi, how do you spend your day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can paint, make some pancakes. At the breakfast, I take my, my darling puppy, Chibi-chan, to the park for our mid-morning stroll. And then, we have a lunch at Cheek Cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on t the, dr the dramas I got on, to movie, on my VCR until it's bedtime. Uh? You just described a typical girl's day! <laughs> uh, sorry. You really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. <laughs> I was so surprised I got intense. I'm so so scared. Oh no, kitty son! You shouldn't shout like that. You may seize and touch. You made you made him cry. This man's a bit too much, don't you think? Oh dear. Should say sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. It's it's all right. I was startled. I wasn't expecting it. It's all. So about how would I spend the day off? Uh, uh yeah, right. <laughs> One thing's clear. You can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. <laughs> no, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What should I be doing instead? Um, fighting all day. When your day's off, you spend your time fighting from dawn to dusk. F fighting? I don't really get it, but what do hooligans fight? Do Yankee have foreign enemies or something? It's not about having enemies. Yankee are always ready and willing to fight. If two punks lock eyes, I fight as on. That's how it means that is the major treat of Camacho. And just so you know, fist fighting is considered the most hardcore and cool. Jeepers! We're a brutal community! I guess I take my dog out for a walk in that war zone. Yeah. Hold on. The dogs that punks keep tend to be fiercely and loyal. They are loyal for blood. They are the trusty partners in a street fight. Eh? Is that right? I can picture my delicate chibi chan engaging in a kerfuffle like that. Kerfuffle. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad we could hit you up for advice, Kiryu-san. You're the perfect hooligan role model. Thanks. Kiryu-san. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What shall I say? Hmm? Aku, you didn't get a topic like Takashi? Nope. He just told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, even though he's practically mute. Bad Boy Aku even has a backstory. Lumped up a juvenile reformatories for birth. Bad, Aku, Bad Boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he finished preschool. Mm. Mm. Your agency is trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Aku's a man of a few words with a crazy backstory. What are you talking about to make him sound hardcore? You know what? You stay quiet. Don't you think it'd be better just to stay quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel? 
Wasn't there a discussion about Big Tucker being a disaster? Yeah. Nope. Haku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but it would be worse if he were to stay, say the wrong things like wreck his image. For Haku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. When you put it that way, it makes total sense! Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Haku says we just during his part. Sure. Haku, are you good with that? Okay. Alright. Now we'll go over how you run this whole panel discussion. We're gonna fail this big time. Yes, please! Yo, come Munchy Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh? Oh, is it time? Uh, I mean, fine. Grrrr! You guys are so done. Yikes! Sorry! I mean, you can come whenever you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. Oh, no. You're gonna fail. <laughs> We're gonna kick ass and stuff. Mm-hmm. Here they are. Put your hands together for the Yako Michi Silvers. <laughs> Woo! Crazy Kiyosan! Bad boy IQ over here! Whoa! Check out Crazy Kiyosan's original ESP guitar, smoking red style. The man's got Yankee, the Yankee look nailed. Wow, they're popular. When well, they're not talking, they do seem like real geezers. Or greasers. Something went in rural high school after school! Yes, that. Hit it, boys! That concludes today's performance by the Yakumachi Silvers. This is just listening to their songs. I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, we would like to move on to the special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Whoa, no way, no way! They're actually going to talk to us? That's totally mental! I can't fucking wait to hear Big Boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh? Yo, Grease Hounds. Hello, everyone. Rock and roll. We are Jacko Michi Silvers. Holy shit. Crazy Cousin can't even speak English? That's so bitchin'. I'm going to have to go totally mental. My god. That's totally authentic pronunciation. It drives me wild. I'm shitting bricks here. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah! I think I nailed that. Yes, the audience loves it. Using English was a good choice. Wow, thanks. Awesome! Thank you, Crazy Kyosan. Next, we should like to hear from Sleazy Takashi and Bad Boy Akusan as well. First up, Sleazy Takashi san. Here's the question we got from a fan. How do you spend your days off? Rah, me? If I get a day off, I spend it fighting, mostly. Sleazy Takashi is a beast, man! Fighting's like exercise to him. Too wicked for words. Oh shit! I'd pay money to get my ass kicked by him! <laughs> Even just once! Just so you know, I don't know nothing but going bare knuckle in a brawl. It ain't a fist, it ain't a fight. Yeah! Good, the fans are eating it up. I knew spending all day fighting would rev up those punks. Thank you, Sleazy Takashi san That guy. Close it up. It's time for a big bad boy Akusa to say a few words. <laughs> that was it? No way. He just stood there for his whole panel discussion? That's. That's. Holy crap, bad boy! Akusan's the coolest one of the rebel! He doesn't play by the rules, not even by his own rules! That makes him bad boy Akusan, he rules! Good. It was the right decision to not let that qu- To let, let him, you know, let him speak after all. Yes. 
After all, it doesn't take a big talk to make a big man. And it speaks louder than words. I actually, okay, I actually nailed this thing. Nice. Kiyu-san, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kiyu-san, we were trying to apply what we learned from you about the ways of Yankee to our panel. <laughs> the panel response was fabulous. I know, I saw it. I'm still in shock. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. You guys really learned well. I'm proud of you all. Looks like the Yakwachi uh, Silvers were deep shooting up towards stardom at the speed of light. We owe you a big time, Kitty Sign. <laughs> that was the most fun I ever had speaking in public. Kitty Sign. Thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand what talks about the way of the, of the Yankee. We'll work on our speaking skills as well. Keep an eye on us, Kitty Sign. The Yakuwachi Silvers are kicking up to another gear. Uh. Yeah, give it your best shot. We will! People should have all the kind of challenges to face. At least these guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the, of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up. Yakuwachi Silvers! Well, that was a thing. <laughs> Alright, guys, so, um, I got sidetracked, but come on. With wannabe punks and girls selling underwear, how could you not be, uh, sidetracked? We had to stop those things. Well, we have about one. So, <laughs> we're going to continue on with our search for, uh, checking out the Touch Bonnie real estate thing, and we'll be doing that next time. Oh. Theater Alley across from the Mike Bowl. Should, should check it out. Yes. You smoke your cigarette, Kitty, and we will be doing that next time. So I'll see you later, guys.